Hey everyone, it's Andia, and this video will help you upcoming freshmen have an easier way to the next school year. Hi everyone, my name is Ayana, and I'm currently a senior graduating this year, so sadly I won't be able to meet any of you guys. Um, but I will give you one piece of advice that I have also learned in my freshman year and has been actually quite helpful for the past three and a half years that I was physically in school which is to always walk on the right side of the ramp. I know it's not, I know it might sound a little bit silly and pointless, but once you guys are actually back in school, you'll see um, how busy the hallways might get when you're going to class or it's after school or going to lunch or even coming back from lunch. So I highly recommend that you guys um, follow that. This is the entrance to John Swift. And if you go through these doors right here, you will see the John Sweat office. Here we have the front office. If you look down here, is the cafeteria. Up here, to the left, is the first floor where we have history classes. And if you look to the right, we have the auditorium. And this is the main hallway. If you come down here, you will see our gym. Here's our basketball slash volleyball court. And up here is our bleachers. And here on the first floor, we have history classes. And if you go up the ramp, remember to stay right side on the ramp, we will have our English classes on the second floor. Here is where the English classes are located. And if you go up here to the third floor, we have our math and science classes. And past the auditorium, we will have the band room. Instrument room, music room that is used for band, and down the stairs from the band room to the left, we have some lockers that leads to the cafeteria. Here we have computer class. And here we have art class. And here we have ceramics class. If you look over here, we have the ramp to enter the school from the back. Through here, we have another entrance that leads up to the office. If you go to the left, there's more classes in the cafeteria. And if you go this way, we have where the staff and teachers park. And we have our beautiful John Sweat field. Here's another entrance to the school. Inside here is the cafeteria. And over here, you can find the computer lab and the library. Here's the library. After the library and computer lab, here we have some more lockers. If you go to these doors, you can find the cafeteria. cafeteria down here we have more lockers and through those doors you can find the locker rooms
Hey y'all, it's Janice. In case y'all didn't know, Uptown is basically the area where you can buy food or snacks. Um, you wouldn't really have much time during brunch to get from your classes to Uptown in time. So instead, you should just pack yourself a snack or go Uptown before school. So time management is super important when it comes to high school because you'll have a lot more responsibility now because you're going to have six to seven classes, which means six to seven teachers, which means six to seven workloads. And I know it sounds really scary, but trust me, time management is key and it will make your life so much easier. So I recommend, you know, getting a planner or even using the notes app on your phone, writing down what you need to do in what order on what day. So you get it done on time um, and you'll feel a lot more stress free. And yeah, guys, because grades do matter even as a freshman, so keep up on your stuff. Hi, my name is Dana, and another way you can manage your time is to avoid procrastinating at all costs. I know it's really hard, but you should probably have a calendar um, and prioritize your tasks. Hi guys, my name is Jade, and the way you manage your time in high school is very important. In most cases, teachers will give you enough time during class to work on your homework. So take those opportunities when you can, so you can have more free time later. Hey guys, it's Marina, and I'm a freshman at John Sweat, and today me and Jarena are going to give you some tips on how not to procrastinate. A piece of advice to stay on top of your work is to put away distractions and get into the habit of doing the work right after it's assigned instead of putting it off and saying, I'll do it later. Added on to what Jarena said is to have study groups. Surround yourself with people who are focused and productive. Have your homework in front of you. Studying often but in a small amount of time helps. And try to make it enjoyable. Just remember that if you keep procrastinating, your work will end up piling and that is the last thing you want. Hi everyone, my name is Liliana and I'm currently an 11th grader. And if I was to give any advice to incoming freshmen or freshmen currently, I would say to not be afraid to ask questions. Asking questions allows the teacher to see that you are strong and courageous. Asking questions also gives you clarification on any subject that you are struggling with and that you need extra help on. And also, it doesn't matter what other people think of you because you are striving to do your best as a student. So, ask questions, guys. If you ever need help, talk to your teachers. I get that some of us might be shy or even have social anxiety, especially as freshmen, but don't let that stop you from your success. If you're struggling or don't understand something from your class, ask your teachers because they're always going to be willing to help you, so take advantage of that. Hi, I'm Ian. I'm a senior, and I'm here to talk about activities you can do on campus. Sometimes during lunch in the gym, there's always sports, or even on the field, you can play a few games. Also, there's always um, prep rallies that you can go to once a month with your class and you usually wear your class colors, which is really fun. Also, um, senior leadership, you can always sign up for that. You do a lot of fun assignments in there and also you get to participate more in the activities with planning them and what goes on. And I think that's really fun. And so, yeah, bye. The great thing about John Sweat is that we have many sports to offer. We have cheer, soccer, Football, softball, baseball, cross country, basketball, volleyball, and swim. The benefits of sports at John Sweat is one, physical health and wellness. It will keep you fit and in shape. Two, leadership and teamwork skills. It will teach you to work as a team in a close-knit environment. Number three, time management. It will help you manage your time, whether that is before your practice when you have to do your homework, or when you have your own personal me time. Number four, accountability and responsibility. In order to play sports, you must maintain a 2.0 GPA, and sports will keep you motivated towards that goal. Number five, colleges love extracurricular activities. It will show them that you are committed and are a good demonstration of a student athlete's ability to manage time well. Jobs also love to see that you have experience working in a team environment. Number six, social relationships. In a close environment, it will be easier to make friends and socialize.
You should also definitely try to join a club because it's a lot easier to make more friends, get more involved in the student body environment, try new things, learn more about your interests, learn more about things you don't know, and it's really good for your college apps. Uh, mostly in clubs, what you do is fundraise, give back to the community, field trip, events, and participate in the multicultural assembly. Our most famous clubs are the music, world arts, art club, math club, science, CSF, dance club, debate club, Leo's, Asian American Student Association, Wellness Project. And if you don't find a club that you like, you can always, always start one yourself. Hey you guys, it's Yogi. Just wanted to let you know that brunch is a short break between second and third period. It's enough time to refill your water bottle, go to the bathroom, eat a snack, and get ready for your next class. But it is not enough time to go uptown. Going uptown during brunch is not recommended because it's exhausting to go uptown, get your food, and rush back to class in time. Hey guys, it's Valeria, and I just wanted to let you guys know that it's very important to ask your teachers for help, whether that be with school, something personal, or if you just have a question, they're way easier to talk to than you think. Hi incoming ninth graders, I'm Elena and I just want to let you guys know that Johnswood is such a welcoming school so it should be easy to make friends and express yourself. Hi I'm Allison, thank you all for listening and we're so excited to see you guys next year.